I'm just doing it to bas basically complete this table. All right. Okay, so now I, I kind of have this, um, pretty much have this table complete. Um, what I'm going to go over now are some formulas. Okay, so I'm going to kind of take a break from this table. I'm going to explain formulas to you. Um, in, in Excel, to enter formulas into a cell, you're going to first enter the equal sign. That's that tells Excel that you're about to enter a formula into that cell. Um, now in Excel, there's operators which, just like with regular math, um, the plus, and that's how you add, minus to subtract, forward slash for division, and we use a star for multiplication. All right, so how you um, enter a formula into Excel is basically you can go up here, and I'm going to add up all of my all of my um, sales representatives sales right here in the total for quarter one totals so I'm gonna hit equal because I'm about to enter a formula and then I'm just selecting that cell plus and I've added them up so that's a basic formula in Excel okay um, the same formula is going to work over here so I'm using autofill and autofill can drag not only does it recognize patterns but it can also drag formulas so I want that formula to also be in cell C8 and it basically it just dragged everything the, it dragged the formula over except it's working with the cells relative to the amount of cells that I moved it over so instead of adding up cell B4 through B7 since I dragged it over one column it's gonna add all the cells from C4 through C7 which is one column over okay um what makes another thing what makes Excel uh, probably even more more efficient than just using these formulas which you can use the formulas but what's faster is probably using functions and uh, what a function is is basically instead of me going and entering in all the operators and selecting the cells individually I can enter a function which I still need to hit the um, equal sign but I'm going to show you how basically I'm entering in a function manually and one function is called the sum function. So when I enter in the sum function, functions, uh, there's a function and then you're going to have parentheses. Inside the parentheses you have to enter your arguments. So my arguments are what I'm going to be finding the sum of in this example. So equals sum and then I can just select all the cells that contain data that I want to find the sum of close the parentheses and there I have the sum and I, I can drag this back the other way and I also have the sum um, another way to enter a form enter um, functions is to click on the formulas formula ribbon and in any of these categories right here you can find functions we're going to look for the sum function. Now I could easily select it there, but you know the sum function is not going to be the only function that we use in Excel. Um, okay, let's say I didn't know what the sum function was, so I could, after um, opening this box as I just did, I don't know if you saw what I did, I clicked down here, I went to more functions. I can open that up anywhere around here. Insert function. This is the insert function dialog box. 
So I can go to the insert function dialog, or I can click right here, the f of x, the function command and insert function. And then up here you're going to see we have search for a function. I can type in add numbers together and Excel will list the most relevant functions because a lot of them are abbreviated. So we can see right there I entered the sum function. This is what is the R the uh, function arguments dialog box. Here I'm entering in my arguments. So my arguments are going to be these cells. I'm going to select that for my argument and click OK. Let's say I wanted to find, you know, now this isn't going to work, but it's just an example since we're learning. Um, insert function. There's already one there. Let me go ahead and delete this. So I just selected the cell and I pressed backspace. That deleted it. Uh, insert function. And let's say I wanted to find the square root of a number. And then you can see right here it listed a recommended function, which is SQRT, short for square root. Okay, now... The square root function um, only has one argument because it's a number. You're going to find the square root of a single number, so there's only one argument. So I could um, select the number, and there I find the square root of that number. But that's just kind of introducing functions and how to find functions and how to locate functions. And as you can see, you have the function library up here where you can you can search through different functions. You can hold your mouse over the uh, you know over the functions and it will tell you there's a description of what it does what the different functions do so you can kinda search for what you need and then if all else fails you can't find it you can go here to more functions type in a description and hopefully you'll be able to find it and the same thing you can search for functions in this dialog box by looking through the categories and then scanning all the different functions. But as you can see, there's a lot of categories and a lot of functions available. All right, so let's drag this over again. All right, now we can add another total row. I guess it's not really necessary. And we'll enter the sum function. We can also do auto sum right here. Just by simply clicking this button, it will automatically find the sum of all the corresponding cells that contain um, <clears throat> that contain numeric values and then we can just drag this down as we did before and then down here in the bottom right that would be I guess our annual total for total sales of all employees all right um, Okay, now I get now I can go over some formatting. Um, bas basically, formatting is just cleaning it up, making it look presentable. Um, and as you know, you can you can um, format cells. So I can select the quarters, and I can add different color. I'm going up here, and I'm clicking in the font group in the home tab. This is the fill color command, and it, you can see I have different colors I can choose from, or I can select more colors and make custom colors, but there's just almost an infinite number of colors to choose from. All right. So I'll just make it blue. Just trying to distinguish different things, I mean different areas of this table. You kind of get the idea. I can also add some borders by going up here. Now another way for me to add 